G'day folks. Well, today we're going to be looking at electronic metering devices from air conditioner condensing units. Uh, this is a complete one from a Mitsubishi. Uh, AC reciprocating compressor, not a uh, DC inverter rotary. This one here has a little check valve on it for the uh, reversing of the cycles and the uh, metering device itself and solenoid or elect electronic module. Obviously this side comes from the condensing coil, liquid comes through or is metered back through if it's in reverse. Uh, this is one from a Fujitsu inverter that I dismantled this morning. I prepared it earlier by parting the weld up on the lathe. Uh, that's its own little uh, electronic coil. I believe they're actually an electromagnetic coil similar to a stepping motor. You can see the magnetic poles inside. And what these appear to do is they screw up or down depending on how much refrigerant they want to allow through. It's just a needle and seat, like a uh, carburetor needle and seat. With this being your inlet and that being your outlet. Quite a simple little device. So this is magnetised. Very strong. And that must float inside here, obviously with the canister over it, and when you start the unit up you hear the valve ticking, and that must be it winding all the way down to its home position, so many turns, and then when the unit determines how much cooling it needs or how much liquids to be released, it will undo so many turns, again making the ticking sound, and that will be its run position. Every time you switch the unit on, it will go into a reset mode where it winds it all the way back on. Like so. See, now that's home. I won't go down any further. And when the unit starts up, it will start rotating it and opening that needle. Just a closer look at this uh, little valve assembly right now. That's its home position. It won't go down any further, so the unit started up, it's wound it back home. Now when the unit starts up, it will tick it over and unwind it so many turns to release refrigerant through the discharge side. But if I take it right off, that's the little needle. Pretty simple. And they just use the uh, magnetic field inside these coils to do that. So, uh, thanks for watching, folks. Hope somebody finds this interesting. Okay, one last thing for comparison. I've opened up the Mitsubishi valve. You can see there's a centre bearing in there, a little bronze bush. And it works off the same principle. It'll unwind so many turns, or wind in so many turns. And needle and seat, and you can see down the centre there where the liquid's let out. And that's the expansion point for these units. The evaporation starts before the refrigerant leaves the condensing unit. It's a funny way these split systems work, but they work very well. Very efficient. And that's just its little stop. So the unit will screw it down all the way when it starts up, and then start winding it out, depending on how much refrigerant is required. That's just a bit of weld. It's not, not part of the valve. There you have it. 